Good afternoon. Today we pause in an act of reflection, in an act of solidarity, in an act of remembrance. It was a year ago today that our history changed and we entered into what would be forever remembered as the first lockdown. At that stage, COVID-19 had claimed the lives of over 300 people. Today in the UK, that figure stands over 100,000. At the start of the pandemic, we heard that measures were being put into place which were unprecedented. Now, a year on, we seem to have lost that word as the wearing of masks and social distancing becomes normalised and we consider one another's well-being and safety. Many things we once took for granted have changed, and we mourn the loss of collective singing, joining together with friends and family, and enjoying one another's company on social events such as pictures or at a restaurant. So today in our town of Nice, we join with the nation as we stop and reflect on all that has happened in the past 365 days. In this brief service, we shall bring to mind all those who have died and the loved ones that mourn their loss, all whose lives have been irreversibly changed by COVID, those who still suffer in body, mind and spirit. And we should reflect on the dedication to duty of those in the NHS and care sector. The sheer determination of scientists who have worked tirelessly to get the vaccines upon all has put so much hope. The loyalty of key workers, teaching and ancillary staff in schools. The emergency services and those in the funeral industry. We will pray for our community, for our town, for its market and its shopkeepers, for the local industry, for those who because of this pandemic lost their livelihoods or have been furloughed. Today we hold you all in our thoughts and prayers and will encourage you at eight o'clock this evening to light a candle or stand outside on the doorstep shining the light of hope into our world. As we gather together in our homes to begin this service, we recall our Saviour's words, I am the light of the world, a light no darkness can ever put out. Let us pray. Dear God, be with us as we think about all that has changed this year, and help us to trust that you are always with us. Be close to us as we remember those who have died, and help us to trust that they are at peace with you. Show us how to reach out to others with kindness and care, so that hope shines out in every heart and home of our community. Amen. Psalm 23 the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You are not as my head with oil and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Loving God, you hold all our times in your hands, our past, our present, our future. Be close to us now as we remember all the difficulties and disappointments of the past year. 
be especially close to all of us who are thinking of someone we loved and knew, but see no longer, whether family, friend, colleague or neighbour. Help us to trust that they are at peace with you and comfort us with your presence. But in God, you place us in families and communities and we give you thanks for all those around us who serve us and help us in so many ways. Give wisdom to community leaders, to our schools, hospitals, care homes and other agencies who make a difference to our lives. Help each of us to have the courage to reach out with thanks and kindness to those around us and to speak the words of faith as we share the good news of your love. Loving God, as we journey towards Easter, help us to live as people of hope, knowing that beyond the pain of the cross lies the joy of resurrection. Inspire us in our worship to our churches and homes, that we may bring glory to you and joy to others. Be with those who are struggling and give courage to those who are facing uncertainty and change ahead. Help each of us to keep our eyes fixed on you, that we may reflect your light to all whom we meet. Amen. Now a reading from chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Prayer now for all those affected by coronavirus. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought to know, that we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can ever separate us from your love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Prayer for all who mourn. Gracious God, as we remember before you the thousands who have died, surround us and all who mourn with your strong compassion. Be gentle with us in our grief. Protect us from despair and give us grace to persevere, face the future with hope. In Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Prayer remembering the departed. Lord of all, we praise you for all whom we love but see no longer, who have entered into their rest. Give us grace to follow in their footsteps. Thank you for the memory of those you have called to yourself. By each memory, turn our hearts from things seen to things unseen. And lead us till we come to the eternal rest that you have prepared for your people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We join as we say together words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen God isn't far away. He is the light of this day. He is the sky above you, the earth beneath you, and the life of every living thing. He is in every smile, in every thought that gives you hope, in every tear that waters your soul, and in every moment you cannot face alone. God is the love in the friends along the way. And strangers you have yet to meet, and blessings you have yet to receive. He is in every good thing that touches you. He is at every step that you take, and every breath you live. He is not far away, but he is with you always. And now to him who was able to keep us from falling, and lift us from the dark valley of despair to the bright mountain of hope, from the midnight of desperation to the daybreak of joy. May we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. With the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we wish you and those you care about, today and always. Amen.